What's going on, YouTube? NFL week nine already. If you can believe that. Hang on a second here. You know, silence my phone because it seems like nobody will call until I'm doing a video. Then somebody always calls. Anyway, so after that piss poor Halloween performance by the Bengals, kind of lets a sour taste in my mouth, as you can imagine. But let's get to the picks. Tomorrow night's game, uh, Philly is a 14 point Philadelphia Eagles, or a 14 point favorite at Houston. <laughs> well, you might as well get Philly 20 because uh, Philly is going to rock Houston badly. Houston is one of the worst teams in the league, and Philly is just on a roll. Philadelphia is going to win this decisively, like 38 to 14. Take Philly. Sunday, I don't think no games in London this week. New England is five and a half point favorite at home against the Colts. Um, no, I don't know. I mean, Colts, they, they're up and down. New England's up and down. I like New England at home with five and a half. Green Bay, three and a half point favorite at Detroit. Well, Green Bay's in a must win situation. They can't lose to Detroit. Can they? I don't think they will. Uh, Green Bay, three and a half points. I like them to cover at Detroit. Los Angeles Chargers, three and a half point favorite at Atlanta. Like the Chargers in this game? I think, uh, seven to ten points, I think. Pretty good, so that means they'll cover. I like the Chargers out on, on the road. Buffalo, twelve and a half point favorite at the Jets. Um... This is my trap game of the week. Buffalo, I think, will win. But I like the Jets with the 12 and a half. They're going to keep it closer than people think. I don't think the Jets are a joke. I honestly don't. I think people are overlooking them. And uh, Buffalo is one of the best teams, if not the best team in the league in football right now. And nobody can argue that. But 12 and a half, rival game. I like the Jets with a 12 and a half. Buffalo will win, but I like the Jets with the points. Uh, Minnesota Vikings, three and a half point favorite at the Washington Commanders. Minnesota Vikings looking pretty impressive. They escaped last week against Arizona. Um, God, Minnesota, man. You know, being, being from the Midwest, I get, I've gotten to watch the Vikings a lot in football. And, um, the Vikings have a habit of starting like five and one, six and one, seven and one, whatever. And then they just piss it down their leg. Is this going to be the case again? I don't know. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Even though I don't think Kirk Cousins has taken them to the promised land. But I like the Minnesota Vikings on the road against the Commanders. Even though I think the Commanders are kind of underrated too. But I like them. I like the Vikings on the road. Cincinnati at home. Seven and a half point favorite over the Carolina Panthers. Well, in my opinion, this game is the whole season right here. If Cincinnati loses this game, it's over. Based off their schedule, I mean, they got to play Buffalo, Kansas City, Tennessee, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, again. It's not looking good for Cincinnati. I don't know. I don't trust the Bengals right now. I think they're a weak team mentally. I think Jamar Chase being out is fucking up, uh, or screwing up, sorry. Screwing up Joe Burrow, pretty good. Um, now Joe Burrow could have just had a bad game. It happens. I mean, obviously the guy's the franchise quarterback. But um, I don't know, man. It's going to be tough. But, but this is a must win. I think Cincinnati will beat them at home. I don't know if they'll cover, but I think they'll beat them. Let's hope and pray. Las Vegas Raiders, one and a half point favorite at Jacksonville in a meaningless game, really. I mean, the Raiders are playing like dog shit. They got blown out last week against the Saints. Jacksonville's terrible. Um, I, you know what? Screw it. I'm taking Jacksonville. Screw it. I'm taking Jacksonville at home. Um, Miami, five point favorite at the Chicago Bears. Well, 
the Chicago Bears got rocked last week by the Cowboys. And uh, Miami, I think, is just playing better ball, and I think they're the better team by far. I think Justin Fields will eventually get his groove, but not this year. Take uh, Miami. The Arizona Cardinals are a two-point favorite at home against the Seattle Seahawks. I don't really don't understand this line. I mean, because Seattle is the first place in that division, and they're turning it around, and Arizona looks like dog shit. <coughs> so, I like Seattle at home, or on the road, rather. I like Seattle on the road all day long. Tampa Bay, two-and-a-half-point favorite against the Los Angeles Rams. You know, I hate to say this, but I think it's over for Tom Brady. I think it's over. I like the Rams on the road. I just, you know, I d I'm sorry. I just, I don't, I, I think it's over for Tom Brady. I really do. I respect the guy for as long as he has came and what he has done, but it, it, it's over for Tom Brady. I just really believe that. I think this is it. Take out the Rams. Sunday night football, Kansas City is a 12 and a half point favorite at home against Tennessee. Well, for how good Tennessee's playing in that they've won five in a row, you got to take Tennessee with the 12 and a half all day long. But it's going to be tough to beat them at Kansas City. Do I dare? Do I dare? Why not? I like Tennessee in an upset. Not only at the points, I like them to win outright. I like them in an upset. Take uh, Tennessee on the road. That's my upset of the week. Uh, even though it shouldn't be really be an upset because Tennessee's good, just as good as they are, uh, <clears throat> as record-wise. Monday Nighter, Baltimore's two-and-a-half-point favorite at New Orleans. Well, New Orleans coming off that big win against the Raiders, which really ain't saying much because the Raiders are terrible. But Baltimore, <clears throat> I think they're clicking on all cylinders. I think uh, Lamar Jackson's. Playing mediocre, but he's doing enough. I like Baltimore on the road. So there's your week nine picks, people. <clears throat> I finally got to them a little earlier this week. Had time, so not trying to do it at the last minute. So good luck to all your teams. <clears throat>